All right, as we look at this photo, I just want to ask you a real quick question. What's it going to take for us to finally push back? I mean, they forced us to close small businesses. People are going broke. They're pulling people out of subways and buses for simply not wearing a mask or not practicing social distancing. They're going door to door to check temperatures and ask where we've been and where we plan on going and are we going to take a test. They're finding people for surfing or for reading books on the beach and we're not pushing back. They're forcing people to quarantine and we're saying nothing. They're setting up Nazi checkpoints to find out where you've gone if you've been to New York or some other high density CV virus area and they're forcing you into quarantine and signing forms and we're not pushing back. They're decimating the dollar by hyperinflating the currency, by getting the international bankers to unleash unlimited fiat currency into the system that's gonna rise our prices like crazy and nobody's saying anything. No pushback. They're faking death certificates so they can increase the Johns Hopkins fear porn death map so they can scare people out of their wits to the point where people are walking around in grocery stores with masks and gloves on when they've never done that before with any other outbreak. SARS, MERS, bird flu, H1N1, Ebola, tuberculosis. All these deadly, crazy diseases were with Ebola, you're bleeding out of every orifice of your body. Nothing was ever shut down, but we're not pushing back. We're laying down, we're bending over and taking it. They're telling us to stay home, take your shots, wash your hands, wear a mask, don't question authority. Fear, because it's scary, that number's getting real big. Practice social distancing. It's not the flu, it's novel. Obey us and you'll be safe. Stay at home and you'll be safe. Come outside and you won't be safe because men with guns will throw you in a paddy wagon in general population where they're not practicing social distancing. Listen to your overlords who don't practice social distancing. When are we gonna stand up and do something about this? As in take our freedoms back and live our lives normally and not believe lies? Maybe this right here will change our tune. DCF family prep for CV-19. Administration officials at the New Jersey Department of Children and Families today encourage parents across the state to consider temporary guardianship options for their children in the event they become incapacitated with CV-19. And you know why I can't say that on this platform. Power of attorney forms were made available online for download. And here are some of those forms right here. New Jersey Department of Children and Families, power of attorney guidance. Here's the form you can fill out so you can pick out a caregiver. But wait, there's more. This DCF commissioner says, contingency planning is always recommended for families, but during these uncertain times, it's even more crucial for parents to prepare for the unexpected. Similar to disaster readiness, families should have a CV-19 kit that includes important documents, a list of alternative caregivers for their children, and a go bag with toys, medicines, clothes, electronics, and other essentials children may need to spend the night or a week with a designated caregiver. And check this out, guys. In the event a child is without a caregiver due to a parent's illness or incapacitation, and you know what that illness means, right? Oh, you tested positive for CV-19. Oh my God, you have the disease. You know what this means? We get to come to your house with this and we need to take your kids and put them in foster care. DCF's Division of Child Protection and Permanency may be called to take custody of your children. So should we do something now? Or are we gonna roll over and let them take our kids? We're gonna let them go door to door, declare us as having an illness 
or declare us to be incapacitated, collect that $13,000 that every hospital gets when they have a positive CV-19 patient come in, or thirty nine dollars to $42,000 if they put them on a ventilator, then they're really incapacitated, declaring medical martial law on the parents and then taking the kids. This is bizarre. This is insane. This is Nazi-style Gestapo SS crap. Are we going to lay down now for our children? Are we going to rise up yet? Are we mad enough? The division works to identify appropriate and willing family, friends, or neighbors that can provide short-term guardianship, but these efforts can take time and a child could be placed in foster care while details and arrangements are made. And while they're in foster care, maybe they'll get sold to the CPS child sex trafficking ring. What? That doesn't happen. What are you talking about, Brian? Check this out. Guys, you, there are so many people that have no idea what's going on. If your child goes in CPS, he has a high, high likelihood that he or she will be sold into child sex slavery. Look at this. A report looking into child sex trafficking and the child welfare system conducted by the Department of Children and Families in Connecticut found that of 88 children rescued from child sex trafficking in the state, 86 were involved with child protective services before being exploited. 86 out of 88 kids who were in child protective services were found to be involved in sex trafficking. They were rescued from a sex trafficking ring through CPS. And these people want to come in because they declare you ill because of CV-19 and take your kids and put them in foster care where they're likely to be raped, abused, murdered, go, go missing. An investigation led by the state of New York also discovered that nearly 85% of child trafficking victims had previously been involved with child welfare services. Well, that's comforting. So if they declare you positive for a CV-19 test, they give themselves the authorization to come to your house and take your children against your will without your consent and put them in child protective services where it's likely, highly likely that they'll be sold into a child sex trafficking ring. Guys, if this doesn't enrage us, nothing will. If this isn't the smelling salt of reality to put a fire under our asses to do something about this tyranny that's blanketing the entire world, we're never going to do anything. If we're not going to rise up and protect our kids, we will never, ever move from square one and we'll always stay in our slavery. Where's our humanity? Where is it? Where's that natural urge to protect our children, to protect our families, to protect our society, to protect our communities from any shade of tyranny that's foisted on us for any justification? I don't care what the justification is. The Red Army is marching against us. So what? You don't take our liberties. There's an, there's an invisible microbe in the streets. It's destroying us. So what? You don't take our liberties. You don't destroy our families. You don't crash the economy. You don't decimate the dollar. You don't ring in a one world reserve currency, digital currency, and turn us into a cashless society. You don't make us practice social distancing. You don't force us to wear masks. You don't tell us to obey and stay in our homes so that we can stay safe. We don't obey government functionaries. We live our lives as free men and women in America and in the world. Period. We don't listen to or see any legitimacy in any puppet politician who's going to try to take our rights away. Any mayor, any governor, any president any congressman, any senator, any law enforcer. No one has the legitimate right to deprive us of our rights under color of law, period. And they sure as hell don't have the legitimate right to take our children. It's 100% immoral. And if we can't see this, and this doesn't stoke a fire in us to rise up against it, we're dead. 
we're dead. DCF's role is one of child protection and child welfare BS. We encourage all parents to consider these resources and to do all they can to plan for the care of their children, preventing an unnecessary traumatic experience during an already difficult time. They're admitting that they're going to provide them through CPS a traumatic experience. That's exactly what it's going to be because a high percentage of the time, according to their own documentation, children are sold into child sex slavery through child protective services. Please share this video with everybody you know. This needs to act as a smelling salt of reality so we can wake up and get our asses in gear and do something about tyranny. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe to it, hit the bell notification icon, give this video a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know everywhere you can on social media, and don't forget to subscribe to my private email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. Please leave your comments in the comments section below. I'll see you guys in the next heavily censored shadow ban video.